Let's give it up for our next keynote speaker. Okay, great. Great to see you guys. I see a lot of new faces also here. How many of you are new here today? Woo! Nice. Very good. Very good. It's great. Okay. So there is a lot of intro. I didn't see that actually. I didn't know that these guys are doing it. But uh, we have some couple of students I want to take. Uh, Kalyani is somewhere here? Kalyani, yeah. Okay. Are you a student? Which college? Okay. Which year? Second year. Second year. Yeah. How many years of your course? Uh, it's a four-year course and okay. this is a second year. So after four years, what do you want to become? A good UX designer, like a better UX Okay, designer. great. Okay. Great. So another, any other student here, sitting here? Anjali, you want to speak? You're Anjali, right? Okay. Okay, what about you? Uh, I think... Where the trail might take me, I'll go there. I've not planned anything yet. You haven't planned Let anything. Me. Any other students in this side? OK, can you pass it down? Yeah. Hi, my name is Swayam. OK. And I am from Geetanjali College of Engineering. Engineering? Yes. Oh my god. OK. And uh, I am an <laughs> aspiring entrepreneur, currently working with T-Hub. It's an incubation center. Okay. And I'm in my third year of BTEC. Great. Okay. Uh, hand it over to another student. Anybody that side? Okay. Good morning, sir. My morning. name is Ruttika Rao. I'm a second year communication design student from Rishihod University. Rishihod? Yes, sir. It's a four year design course, and uh, my ambition is to become a game developer. So okay. I'm mostly going to pursue UI, UI, UX further. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. So somebody wants to become UX designer, and you want to become entrepreneur, and you want to become a game designer, right? So when I was in IIT, I wanted to become a social entrepreneur, which is the community we built. I started this maybe after you are in second year, right? After two years later, what happens? That's how I started this community. It's a small ignition. But today, we are celebrating 20th annual conference, right? So 20 years keeping one dream alive and sustaining it is not easy, right? You know the reason? How did we do this? Anybody? It's possible because of you guys. Because of your support. I see so many faces, like let's say 20 years back, who have started their career, today they have become design leaders. For example, I see a couple of our leads or mentors here, Haba, or, you know, Madhukar. I have a lot of people I can see that. They've been like all these people who started attending these conferences, understanding the intent of this. Why did we do this? And what do we make out of this? We don't make money, right? What we make, we make community. And we share ideas. And a lot of speakers came out of different countries. They're coming here with a lot of love, passionate about design, and they wanted to share their ideas. Somehow, every year, I always think that, OK, this is the last conference. I don't want to do anything here. The moment I see the energy, the way you guys, the next Few days, right? You guys, some of you are going to be there for the next few days. We become like a family, right? When we meet them, when we talk to them, once a year at least, it'll, it'll give us a punch. Okay, let's do again, again, and again. It's been happening for the last 20 years. Right? Okay, so let's talk about, since you have a lot of new faces here, let's rewind a quick way. So I also have my co-founder come on here. Thank Sham, you. Sham Sundar. So, yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, sorry. Uh, so, 
Papu just uh, mentioned a word, but then I would like to believe that I've been the longest volunteer of this organization. So yeah. ever since, ever since uh, <laughs> we had this vision, um, I was with him, working with, uh, I went to IIT with him, and then I, I worked for the same yeah. company, and then the, that's how this, this took shape, took form, and then it's, it's been so heartening to see that we are here now after 20 years. So very interesting, actually. I want to share tomorrow. I, I hope you, all of you are there. We both were actually discussing, like 20 years back, you know, at your age, we were discussing that, okay, how this should be, and it's still valid today, okay? And I, I could actually see that. How could we imagine that 20 years back, how this organization can be, how can impact, how can this organization can impact many lives and build careers and companies, industry, in institutions. This is very interesting. Let's see, uh, let's start to talk about so I think we did discuss about where we started, right? When, we, when I graduated from IIT that time, nobody was talking about UX. UX is a very, very new term, right? It's a very, very new term. And then suddenly one company came in and said, hey, we want an usability engineer. Usability engineer. Nobody knows what is usability that time. Right, right now, everybody knows, right? And interestingly, we are still admiring those people who are talking, outdated people. Still now we are saying that, oh, that's gurus. But because, I'll tell, talk about that, why we do it. Maybe in a few minutes, we'll talk about why we follow people, why we can't be leaders. We'll talk about, don't worry. We'll come there and then I'll see how many of you are going to be inspired after this. Okay? So they said, okay. Now we like you. Why? Why did they like me? Because I'm also into art, design, and you know. So then that's what I thought my, my qualification. And they gave me training in Netherlands, and then I felt that this is a great career option for people to choose. Then that's how it started. So we wanted to create awareness about design. People were not talking about design. Okay, if I have to take uh, Sachi, anybody Sachi here? Okay, your, your dad knows about design? Why did you join design? Why did you take up this? Uh, initially, I was going to go for architecture. But honestly speaking, I don't like maths and science that, more, that much. Yeah. So then I uh, researched about designing and all, and I decided to go for it. Okay, but what about your dad? He, was he happy? Yeah. He was happy, right? At least the dads now are happy because after 20 years, <laughs> our dads understand that design is important, right? Design also be a career option. Imagine 20 years back, your dad thinks that hey, nobody gives you a daughter, right? If you are in design, no, you can't make money because you're engineering your peers. They are actually making good money because Y2K and all those things were very popular at that time, right? So it's so much difficulty to convince people. So that's how we started. And this growth, 20 years, we are in a situation we are able to move from the needle from awareness to, awareness to advocacy. Today, we've been given some importance in our companies, right? Anybody is professionals here? Professionals, right? Are they okay? Are they still asking you to create some colors and uh, icons? <laughs> no, right? They know that we are important. More than that, they know that design is very important. Design is business. Good design is a good business, right? And now we became advocates. We are able to tell people, we are able to, we keep fighting that, I don't have a chair at, you know, sea level. We have to carry our own chair and then, you know, peep through the rooms what they are talking, but we are still being admired by a lot of people, not just only because of the sketching and art and films you do, because of the value you are adding. Right? You agree that? So it took 20 years for us to say that we are at a place where we can advocate. This 20 years is too long, isn't it? So where are we going now? Okay, let me see. Uh, you want to talk about... Yeah, just to build on that thought, right? So uh, why did it take 20 years? Because we, uh, when we started, this was a pretty new profession. And, and for anything that new, we had no marker at all. The only available markers were established professions and all those things. And then those, as Bapu mentioned, when you look at other professions, they're already 
are very well understood and, and stuff like that. But then we, we had to start from like, ground zero or, or even below <laughs> uh, to, to, to understand and to, to keep it in other words, right? So we had to start from there. And then uh, when I think back, multiple things come to my mind, right? So I mean, uh, in, the, in the initial days, our conference itself was quite small, as you could imagine, and it has scaled and grown and evolved, evolved to this stage. And so is our profession. So um, from awareness to advocacy, Having said that, do we stop at advocacy? I don't think so. We, we should continue this, because um, th things are evolving. Technology is evolving. And then uh, awareness, as we have seen today, uh, even though we would like to call ourselves as the biggest platform, biggest conference today, there is so much to do out there. I, I mean, in terms of reach and all this stuff. Once we make design and an innate thing, intrinsic, intrinsic to everything that we do, everything, almost everyone, because it's not just the responsibility of designers to think design, but even consumers and everyone has to think design. So we are not going to stop here. Um, even though we need to look forward from here, awareness is always going to be important, and then we need to expand the base from there and then take it forward from there. And what's been, what's been helping us this, right? So again, as I mentioned, because we didn't have any marker then, we had to create our own mission. Own mission is, again, it, it started with inspiring all of us, enabling all of us, and then as a platform, our job was to keep driving at it, right? So, and, and after all this, finally, here we are, uh, wherein the, if, if there were any, any, any key things that helped us reach here, it, it's all about the platform in enabling these connections, engaging ourselves through various programs, and help, helping us grow in what we have been doing in our careers, careers and professions. But we are going to hear more about this, because obviously we are not going to, not going to stop here. We have an entire world out there, I mean, um, both in, in terms of increasing the base and then taking design far out. Yeah. So um, how many students are here? Today, we have a maximum number of students. And today, tomorrow, of course, tomorrow, the biggest crowd ever, because the professionals are going to join. Can you please raise your hands? How many students? Great. So a lot of academicians join, right? So the philosophy when we started that why we want to become designers? Because as I said, right, engineers make money. It's not just money. So one thing, one philosophic thing we wanted to do is design a life-centric things with a purpose. If you don't have a purpose and you just want to become a craftsman or you just want to make money or you just create something so that you can go abroad. That's not your purpose, right? You need to find your purpose. I'm sure most of our educational institutes actually help us to identify our purpose. And we are talking about life-centric because we have to design something ethical, sustainable, inclusive, right? Have you tried that? Have you heard, of, heard about these words? Right? and human-centric. So it is not just creating wireframes. We have to think about how ethical we are. And how do you stand up and say, because businesses want money. Business is like, how do you create money in different ways? Like, I don't know whether you heard about dark patterns. So, but how many of you can stand up and say, I don't do that. I'm OK to lose my job. You don't? Yes. Yes, that's the problem. What is happening? We are losing our voice because of corporate gains. Who are those people? They are computers or human? So how can we tell them that? What is ethical? Because if you don't train yourself, because these are the things very important when you are growing as a budding as a designer, if you don't understand you know, what is life-centered design with a purpose, if you don't understand inclusivity, how can we design something for differently enabled, differently enabled people or also women or children or think about you know, life as not just only the people. You also have to think about planet and with a purpose. So this is a philosophy we've been you know, maybe promoting or we've been believing in very strongly. And we also start teaching and of course, tomorrow we're going to talk more about it. 
So how do we embed this? And it's not just only I'm preaching now. I think all institutes, we should actually come together and talk about this. Okay? Let's talk about how did we run some programs to bring these two things together. Uh, Sham, you want to <laughs> yeah. talk? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, these are the ones that have been helping us drive this mission forward, right? So if you think about platform as, as a thing that is helping us, helping us all to stay connected, stay inspired, stay engaged, and then keep driving this profession forward. These are the six, six programs that have been designed to uh, align with the way we come into this profession as students and then grow in our profession and then go out there and then, again, we are going to talk more about it. I, I don't want to uh, uh, reveal what's there tomorrow, but in, 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 I mean, in terms of how we should all be driving this forward, um, instead of just stopping at, stopping at advocacy, right? What's beyond advocacy is something that we're going to learn tomorrow uh, as community, but then, these are the six, six pillars, um, as you can understand it. So I, as a school kid, you could have design in you. You could have various thoughts and ideas. You, you go to college and then, hey, um, I, I've seen this somewhere. This can be redesigned like this. This can be reimagined like this. So it starts with expression. So we want all of you to uh, express what you had, you have in your mind, your reaction to things, your reaction to the world around you, and, and then express things. And, and this platform has programs, various programs, various campaigns that we have been running time and again to, to express. So everything starts with expression, right? Bob, you want to talk about Explore? Yeah. So when we talk about Express, right? So this just now we discussed about, he said, we can't express ourselves. Because if corporate says you have to do something bad, you are doing it, right? So how do we stand up and say express, right? That's what the platform gives you an opportunity to tell that. How do you do that? So a lot of actually workshops we do conduct with leaders. Of course, I'm going to introduce the leads as well. And we have a workshop in the evening. So we tell them that we take these pain points. Yes, this is the you know, pain point we have. They don't allow us to talk. Then how do we handle that? There are different situations, right? How do we handle that? There's no one answer for this, all these problems. How do we do that? We will get into that. And explore expertise, experience. There are different programs. For example, some of you have participated in global design contest. I don't know how many of you have been there. And we really get very good number of entries, around like 3,000 entries come from different design schools all over the world. So this is learning from each other, right? How do they think? Let's say right now we discussed about MIT and Rishiwood, right? Once you are here, you guys actually should not sit in Rishiwood and one group and then MIT in one group and then NID is another group. You guys have to understand, talk to each other, express your, you know, your understanding, how you guys have been taught. Share. Otherwise, you know, every year or every day, you will be sitting in the same bench, same group, right? You guys have to mingle together and then learn from each other. So how do they solve? Actually, we have this program, Explore. We actually assign a mentor, industry mentor to the team, and they'll actually tell you the two weeks program that guide you through the identifying a problem and then a solution. And uh, we are going to talk about it this year, winners. Uh, Ranjit is going to discuss about that. OK, we have different you know, Excel, Execute. Of course, if you guys go to Yomoda Design, and a lot more we can learn from there. I'll move on little bit further. So, now, as a community, we have these three groups, academia, industry, and the governments. We're able to influence governments to understand the value of design. Now we have a lot of industry support. Like if you see, we have a good number of sponsors coming together and say, hey, we need this kind of a platform. And of course, academia, we have a good number of schools partnering with us and then working. Now the problem is there. What is the problem? You guys heard about AI? Are you scared of it? Why? You tell me why. Why are you not scared? You're saying like this? Why? Increase the... What? Speciality. Okay? So, there is like a lot of feedback coming from people that 
AI is going to disrupt our design. You heard about it? Right? You heard about it? Then you are saying, no, I'm not scared. <laughs> and interestingly, most of the, this guy is engineering, right? What is your name? Swam? And he is in our conference. See? Engineering students coming and learning design. And what about us? And PMs, when you go to industry, PMs talk about this. PMs talk about design. And PM tells you what is the best, best way to solve the problem. And what are we doing, guys? You know, PM means project manager and program manager and you know all these names, right? You heard about it? So what is going on? And we are focused on what? Figma. We are focused on Figma. Right? Figma launches, friends of Figma, and they talk about variables. Do you know you don't know variables? This is what we are learning now. Design is becoming what? Neither technology nor design. We are becoming craftsmen. Right? We are becoming like craftsmen. We can do good pots, good carpentry, good jewelry. Right? What happens? If these tools are making us efficient, so how many of you are wearing something jewelry when you went to uh, when you go to this uh, what do you call goldsmith and you know getting those things done how many of you how many girls are going to the goldsmith and getting your stuff done can you please raise your hands you are going so out of this entire room she is the only person going to goldsmith and rest of the things are done by machines so you guys craftsmen so one of you get your job later, right? All, rest of them, machines will going to do. Are you okay? Are you okay with that? Then what our schools are teaching? And what is our industry is doing? What industry is doing? They'll replace you. You've seen that people are losing jobs because of AI? And most important thing is, nobody has got clue what AI is going to do. And where we are heading to, anybody knows? Nobody knows. The worst part is, we can't take classes, the boot camps on AI and become AI designers. Can we do? Not designers, AI developers. But, engineering students can take a boot camp and become a UX designer. Right? Anybody can become a UX designer. Then what about us? Is it now good? So, we are talking about 20 years of nonsense now. So far we spoke about it very nonsense. Advocacy, right? Awareness. Now you all know about it. Advocacy, we know what is good and what is bad. But, we are becoming more and more becoming craftsmen. Our focus is, I know that I have met a couple of our seniors here. Some of them are actually teaching. I know that foundation, IIT, how, what kind of a great foundation. All the institutes, they teach very good foundation. I'm not denying on it. But our career is moving in a way that we don't know what's going to happen. So how can we become a future-proof designers? So the only one way is, let's stop thinking in silos. Let's all connect together. This is a, like... You know, as a pain point, this is like a giant, there's like a kind of a dinosaur is sitting and, you know, or is standing in front of us and say, I'm going to swallow you all. How do we fight together? Industry, academia come, should come together and of course the government. They should actually help us with the policies and the industry should actually feed academia. Academia should actually help us, industry, to see that what kind of pain points they have. Because the majorly when, when we do workshops with the leads, leaders of uh, design, they say, oh, industry is not helping. Today, we actually have a workshop with, you know, academia, design educators workshop to understand how this platform can help, how we can all come together and 
solve these problems. So how this UX India or UMO Design Foundation can evolve in the next five years? I'm not talking about next 20 years. Even if, if I say five years is too long, because now that something will come, XI, YI, or ZI will come now. Because the AI just started now, right? It's going so fast. Things are moving, and we are getting disrupted. How many of you know disruptive innovation? You know that, right? What's going to happen if you don't disrupt yourself? You have to disrupt yourself. That means there is a great inflection point coming now. There is something needs to be changed. I'm ready to do that change from UX India platform side. Are you ready? Or you still want to sit in your great IIT or great, uh, you know, brands of NIDs and people are going to suffer. I'm very happy to see some of the, on a good number of colleges, students have this sent. And this is a great sign that your college is actually understanding that what's going to happen and they are sending you guys to sit here and understand from the leaders. These three or four days of education is equal to at least a year, very tightly programmed. I know that we don't have much time for, you know, like a networking. More than networking, we thought that wonderful talks have been curated. And people coming from different countries and different backgrounds, and then they're sharing. Each and everything is very important. Of course, there are some parallel sessions happening, and we are recording them you guys can actually go through it. But the point here is, we all should come together. And in fact, we actually have uh, today this, uh, okay, let me finish this. So in this kind of you know challenging times, you are the person, you have to decide whether you get married or you want to go to US or you marry a citizen or you want to get into a new career option, that is all yours. But you are the captain of your career and how we can be we can be we means like as a community we should work together as like a compass you guys agree or please raise your hands if you disagree you guys are agree you are you're not agreeing sir you're not agreeing So I think we are all at the same common point. I think we all should come together, understand pain points, and first of all, start talking, expressing, connecting with people. And we have this program today. We have Mentors Roundtable. So we want you guys to talk to mentors. There are like senior folks, heads of design from different companies. We created a very good platform. And we are calling them leads. They'll sit with you, and you talk anything. Express yourself. Learn from them, because we are going to tell them. We are going to do a workshop on uh, and 20th or 21st day we are planning. They are going to come back and say, hey, this is the common points our students are facing. So how can we help them? And we have another thing, design educators workshop. Again, we, want, we invite all the design educators to come together, and we have our industry folks sitting and we all together will do a workshop. How can you work together? Okay, so this is a great opportunity, right? It's, it's not easy to connect with Rishi Wood or, you know, or NID or MIT or, you know, different colleges are coming here. What, what is your college you said? Gitanjali, right? Yeah. It's not easy, right? But this is a great opportunity, right? When you are spending time together, talk to each other and talk to the mentors and then we'll plan some interesting programs which actually help you guide your career, okay? And we also have some keynotes and TED-like talks, and we also have, we created an experiment. So today evening, we're going to have, we created a six months program designed by, you know, leads, heads of design, and then we spend some six months time and they are going to graduate. So first of all, again, I'm telling you guys, we're not doing anything, you know, like a competitive way. We are only doing collaborative way. We want to work together, and we can help each other. That's the reason we wanted to change our perspective. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how, what kind of a change is going to be. Okay? So, 
enjoy the rest of the conference. So we can say officially declare that UX India 24, our 20th edition has begun. Thank you, guys.